Across the old capital, work remains ongoing as residents busy themselves repairing their homes in the aftermath of Hurricane Earl. One of the hardest hit communities in Belize City is Balama Phase 3. Already a flood-prone neighborhood, the damage left behind is substantial. Houses have been flattened, roofs flown off, and water from above and below has rendered useless an assortment of electronic and household appliances. It's day two, and the people here are wasting no time piecing together what's left of their properties. We had the roof, we had a veranda front here. Half of the roof, Megan. Half of this piece for the other room, Megan. On the other side, you had like four zincs rip up and all of that fly away. During this storm, we made a try say, how we may get through it because honestly, for make the e night they try fix certain things where you hear when you flop. Mm -hmm. We made a try fix on the other side of the veranda because what happened you had water made it go downstairs. So we made a try cover that up with one piece of board and my we made a try fix things. Mm -hmm. But I tell her when I come out in at the storm is no no good feeling. I want horrific feeling because one spare we had one board up there where it made a flop. And that connect the whole veranda and all of that had zinc due to what we never want all the breeze may come in, but we never put zinc on the other side. That let go. Me and my son we did try nail long this and pan the reel. We never ever gone through something like this before. And I put my son and my life in a jeopardy because we made try fix that piece there. Notwithstanding a last ditch effort to secure certain parts of their home, Francine Banner, like others in this area, suffered significant damage to property. Just around the corner from where she lives, a group is hammering away at the roof of their house. The gale that came with the driving rain tore off the sheets of zinc that were nailed to the rafters. Well, actually we don't get nothing much safe, but gradually I could get to everybody out of the spot safely after we see the flood, the corner. Things started to blow up on the rooftop and so I try my best and just lead everybody out to safety care and my house and I'll make everybody go in. Try to get safe and thing and you no know, calm and stuff down. Everything I get I cut from my foot up a zinc with it from the street out there too, you know. And all my stuff in my house get wet up, my fan TV, DVD, everything destroy. What? Yeah, describe the experience of, of being out in the storm trying to save everybody else who lives in this property with you. Well, I'm here and I had a head leader, so I stood front and I just tell everybody stay in a straight line and hold each other and just. Holding the head down, you know, you know, they watch too much and just follow me and I just water, was... water to your chest and I got water to my yeah, chest and yeah, like young baby be around the boat and all of that too, you know. So I have to try my best, everybody may don't frighten, they cry, I don't know what they want to do. We're going to sit down for a house over there. We ain't get wet up with like for two hours. No one with the call, 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 nobody not going to help with. So I tell you here yeah, what, next thing I have to do, I just make a move and just go to my peeps house because I have a high house. So I try to make everybody get safe, check. But, like a lick right now, we ain't got stuff like food and anything right now, so I'm going to try the best right now. In the same area, an elevated wooden structure, which was being used as a church, has been decimated by the forces of nature. We got a damage right by the church right now, you know, it, it had dropped and then we just, um, we just um, need a help with it, you know, that we need um, to, start, to get it on feet again, you know. Because uh, we got a lot of members in the church, you know, and then we need to just start, just get it on feet, you know, just a little help, you know, if they could get a little help on it, and then it will be good, you know, because uh, just, a little, just, a, just a little help we need with the church, you know. For Brian Harris, an appeal to anyone willing to assist with food or other resources is all that is left. Would you take this opportunity to make an appeal to anybody who can assist you, either a government agency or some other organization that come and give you guys assistance to either build back or to supply you with food or what you need? That would be very helpful. Anybody would have just, you know, could have come minister, anybody could have just come and support and give you all your hand out and, you know, try to help you out and thing. That's not anything will work, you know. That's how I do it. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.